Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to make a 20 ounce skinny tumbler mock-up using Canva. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a tumbler mock-up design. Now, I'm in Etsy right now, and in the search bar, I'm typing Tumblr Mockup Canva. Okay, that will bring us up with all these designs, these Tumblr mockups that you can use in Canva. Another thing you need to look to see when you're getting a Tumblr design is to make sure that it has a transparent background. As you can see, these all have transparent backgrounds, so that will work with Canva. Okay, so you can kind of go through the designs and select the one you want, purchase it, and download it. Whether you're looking for sippy cups or 20-ounce skinny tumblers or the 12-ounce kids flip top, they will all work in Canva. Okay, so we're doing it. For this video, I'm going to do a 20-ounce tumbler, and I've already purchased the design from Etsy. So next, we need to go to Canva.com. Okay, once you get to your home screen in canva.com, click on create a design. Then go to custom size and change the pixels to inches. Okay, now we're going to type in 11 for the width and 8.5 for the height. Create new design. Okay, so here's our 11 by 8.5 workspace. Now we need to upload the design we just purchased from Etsy. So you're going to come over here and click on Uploads. And then Upload Media. Okay, then what you do is you find the folder you downloaded your design to. As you can see, I've already purchased and downloaded one. And this is the one we will be using. If you uh, put your arrow over it, it should be a PNG file. Just like this one shows. Okay, you can click on that and hit and click on open or you can just double click. And it will start uploading in Canva. You can see by this little blue circle here that it's uploading. There's also a line that goes across right here. As you can see, this one has uploaded. Now what we need to do is just click on this and it will be centered on your workspace. Now you can click and drag it over but it's best if you just click on it because if you click on it and drag it over let me see if I can get this to do that and if it goes like this now you cannot you cannot put your tumblr image on here it won't let you transfer it to the background so you don't want it to lock in as a background and you have a undo arrows up here where you can undo or you can redo your last action or you can actually undo several actions and go back to where you started so we're going to undo this and just click on this so it's centered right here now left click and just move it up to the top left corner and then left click and drag this down so it's kind of from side to side and then just drag it down so it's centered okay now you need to lock this so it doesn't move around on you. So we're going to come up here and click on the lock button right here. Okay, now we have this set, your, your, your Tumblr mock-up image set. Now we need to get the actual image you plan on putting on your Tumblr. So we're going to go back to Upload Media. Then you find your design. Now for this video, I'm using the Scooby-Doo design. And it can be a JPG, it can be a PNG, whatever image you want to show as a mock-up on your Tumblr. So I'm going to double click on that. And you'll see it will start uploading right here to the left. You can tell it's uploading by this blue circle. Okay, for finished uploading. And just like before, just click on it. And it will center itself over here. Now once you get it over here, just drag it down and drag the corners in 
don't click the sides, just the corners. Drag it in until it covers your tumblers. Now we can move this up and down just so it's barely bigger than your tumblers. You can see right here's the edge of the tumbler, so we want it just a little bit bigger. Okay. Once you've got that set, just come up here to position, click on that, and click backward. And then click off the screen twice, and you can see now we have our image on our tumbler. Okay, so now you may want to uh, maybe enhance your image a little bit. Maybe it's too dull or not bright enough or not colorful enough. It just doesn't look like the image you want to be on your tumbler. To do that, just click on the image or left click next to it and go over like this and then it'll highlight the image. Click on edit image. Now we can adjust the brightness. We can adjust the contrast and we can adjust the saturation. So you can adjust this if you feel like you need to adjust it a little bit. Maybe it doesn't look like it's supposed to. And then once you got that done, just click on the gray area, the left side of the screen, like on the left side of the design, and left click again, and then it's all set. Okay, what if you want to put your logo on here? Well, you're going to upload your logo the same way by clicking on Upload Media. Then you'll find your logo and and double click and, and uh, upload it just like I showed you with the um, Tumblr mock-up and the design. I've already got mine uploaded. So with that, just click on it. Size it the size you want to size. And then put it to where you want it to be. I usually put mine in the top left corner, but you can obviously you can put it anywhere you want to put it. So I'm just going to set that there. Okay, now what if you want to add some uh, text or something on here? Um, let's just say I want to say this. Uh, I'm just going to type Scooby-Doo Tumblr. Come over here to text. Click on that. Click on add a heading. And then you'll see this right here. And then start typing in your text. Let's say Scooby-Doo Tumblr. Okay, left click, and then to move it, we'll just click on it, left click with your mouse, hold your left mouse button, and drag it up. Okay, as you can see, that's a little bit too big, but as you can see, it's centered. See the little line going down the center of the screen? I know the text is centered. Okay, we want this to be a little bit smaller, so there's two ways you can do this. You can drag left click and drag the corner like that or you can come up here and just click the decrease or the minus button like this or you can increase the size by clicking on this plus button okay so we'll just go ahead and decrease it a little bit and then I'll drag it where I want it right there Okay, now what if you want to change the color or the font? Okay, click on it. Here's the font, the type of font right here. Just click the down arrow, and you'll get a list of fonts. Okay, and these are all the fonts you can use. Now, if you see these little these um, crowns, this is if you have Canva Pro, you can use these fonts. If you have just standard basic Canva, you can just use the ones without the crowns, but there's still a lot of fonts to choose from. So you can go and pick a font if you don't like the font that we have right now. Um, I'm just going to pick one just to pick one. Okay, let's say I want to use this font right here. And then I can uh, change the color of this by clicking on this text color button right here. And then we can choose the colors that are in our photo. It selects colors from the photo. Or we can just start using default colors. So if I want to change the Scoopy Doo to red, I just click on the red. If I want to change it to green, I'll click on the green. 
If you don't like any of these colors, you can click this plus, add a new color, and make your own just by sliding this slider around and sliding this around to the shade and color you want. And to go one step further, if you want a color off of here or off of the screen, left click on this, and then you'll get this um, picker tool, color picker tool, and then whatever color you center this over will be the color your font will be. So if I want this gray color or this um, board color, I guess it is, I just click or I can pick the color of this dress just like this, left click, and now it will change to that color. So that's how you can change your colors. Okay, now I need to make this a little smaller, so I'm just going to click my down arrow a little bit. And that's how we uh, put the text on there, the logo. And you can just add whatever you want onto here. I mean, you've got all kinds of choices. You can add more elements. Um, I'm just showing you what's possible. It's not like you would want to put this on here, but you can do that. If you don't like it, just left click up here on the undo button. But you can add elements to it. Um, it's unlimited, pretty much, what you can put on here. Okay, so now you've got the, the, uh, the mock-up that you want to use. And uh, you need to download it. So up here, yours may say download. You'll click on it. My download is right here. Just click download. And then you will save it as a PNG and transparent background and if you want to save the download settings just click on this button you don't have to um, to do the transparent background you do have to have the canva pro but it doesn't really matter you can leave this unchecked and just click download and then it will ask you where to save your uh, mock-up design to give it a second to download okay so I'm just gonna save it to the same folder that um, I uploaded my files from you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna let it the default of scooby-doo tumblr and save okay so now you have your tumblr mock-up and this is what it's gonna look like and you can use that to uh, advertise your tumblers or show your friends or whatever you want to do with the mock-up. So hopefully this video uh, helps you. Um, um, if it did, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please uh, put your questions in the comments. Um, you can do the same thing for t-shirts and for any other kind of mock-up. Nope.